A chase, a crash, and a citizen's arrest were all part of an early morning crash in northeast Spokane. The police are cleaning up the scene near Lacey and Wellesley. KXLY 4's Eric Loney is live at the scene to tell us what happened. It sounds wild, Eric. Yeah, good morning, Robin. It was sort of uh, convoluted and crazy this morning. Well, we're at Lacey and Wellesley. This is where this all sort of ended. And you can see there's a truck. It's difficult to see down there, but there's a truck in the front yard. It actually knocked out the pillar of a house. Now, this all started around 2.30 this morning. We have better video we want to show you of what it looks like down there in the scene that's a little brighter. This all started around 2.30 this morning when the Washington State Patrol, a trooper, saw a truck run a red light at Francis and Division. Well, the trooper started a pursuit, and that truck took off. It winded through the neighborhoods around here until it reached Lacey and Wellesley when the suspect ran the stop sign at Lacey and then was T-boned by a car that was driving on Wellesley. Well, that threw the suspect's, video, uh, suspect's car into another car and then into the front of the house. Well, the chase didn't stop there. The suspect actually jumped out, took off on foot, broke into a house and was uh, taken down and held by the homeowner. Now we're still waiting to get more information from Spokane police about that aspect of what happened here this morning. The suspect's passenger was transported to the hospital. We're not sure what kind of injury she had. The suspect was also taken to the hospital with minor injuries. They just wanted him checked out. But uh, the state patrol says that he faces eluding charges, uh, assault charges, and possibly even burglary charges from the city. Now, the state patrol, they have a whole bunch of troopers here and detectives, and they plan on being here for at least the next couple hours uh, trying to sort exactly, uh, sort all this out. Uh, but Lacey at Wellesley is blocked, so just this one block, so not too much of a traffic detour. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.